Sword, coziness, femur. Coziness? Wait, why coziness? Wait, which one's femur? Is that the basic attack one? Because this could be the basic attack run. It's so annoying I need to go to sleep because I'm waking up tomorrow at 6 and it's 0, well, 12 right now, so goodbye. Alright, thanks for being here, Yo-Yo. That's the crit one? Okay. Uh, why femur or coziness, though? Is that, that gives you crit rate, right? But how much crit rate does it give you? I'll still do it, though. I'm, I'm down to do it. But this is just a bizarre running quest in my mind. It might be good. I don't know. 30% at max. That's not bad. Um, Let's bring a hunter along for something like this. 10, 20, 30. I need a, f a good way to get shield at that point. Like a consistent shield source. Shield skull? Wait, yeah, shield skull. Wait, am I... <laughs> Hey, that's a consistent shield source. Well, I think for the third run of the day, here's what I'll do. I'm turning run requests off. Because for the third run of the day, I want to do the thing I've been wanting to test. I didn't mean to... Actually, you know what? I just... I accidentally rejected your fucking points there. You got your points back, I guess, Autor. And I'm still going to do your run request anyway. I meant to mark it as complete, but whatever. Who cares? It's just points. Um, okay, it's already paused. Thor item works? True. Well, that's magic scaling is the problem. And, um, this run's probably going to need dense physical scaling. Architect's breastplate to the mix. Oh, God, that's a terrible item. <laughs> uh, that item's so bad. I mean, if I see it, I'll probably take it, though. Oh, wait, I did... Okay, we have the fucking cheat menu. I can just fix this. I meant to change my uh, my shield skill. I do not want his parry. Actually, you know what? Maybe I do want his parry. You know what? I'll keep his parry. Fuck it. That's a parry. I'm not mistaken, right? Oh, no, 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 no. I do not like this skill. Yeah, I'm passing on this one. Um... Yeah, we want this. Thor item works one second of 30% crit chance after using a skill. I thought it scaled your damage. You're talking about the the fortress one, right? The ambush on the side has iframes. No way! We'll take that. It gives 10 berry when using a skill. Oh, true. Ooh. Okay. That's actually not bad. And 60% damage when taking a hit. Well, the damage won't matter unless I'm doing mixed damage. Which is, you know, it is what it is. Barrel only lasts one second. Um. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> you guys were getting me a little excited for a moment. Now, this. Do you guys want me to like this item or not? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I think you guys are trying to get me hopped up on new item, or like item I hadn't thought about juice. Should last long enough for the skill to benefit? Well, it's only one second, but I guess if you're, if you're skill spamming, it's fine. Sword kind of skill spams a little bit. Shield has really long cooldowns on his skills, though. That's a little problematic. Well, 10 seconds is not that long, I guess. Maybe it'll be fine.
I was testing it, it's enough iframes to take to face take the whole floor attacks if on if you combine it with dashing. Wait, the floor attack, you mean the bones? The the like the spike attack in the speed skull form? What do we got? Uh, we're looking for, for, for not really fortress items, but just shield items, I guess. So, <sighs> no, <laughs> it's also a common. So, this is probably good. I'll take it. The slams and the spike from the power and speed. Ooh, that. Okay. It's a couple points in its favor because that fucking slam attack is terrifying. But it's also it would be hard to time it right. Um, do I care about these bone shards? Yeah, I think I do. Buy treasure. Fortress, please. Uh, no. Uh, I'll take this for money, and also, I might do strike on this run, so at least strike two. Mutant one so you can keep shield swaps. Uh, true. I mean, I usually want mutant one anyway. But we have to be careful about spreading our strategies too thin. Like, it's, it's, it, it would be a lot to juggle if I, if I try and put every single shield strategy on this run. Like, at a certain point, I'll just have to focus on um, on other things. Because keep in mind, the shield is only a part of the crit plan. We also need to just have crit items and, and crit um, and crit percent, too. I think the number one item, as per usual, that we're going to be looking for on a run like this is uh, Black Steel Daggers. And Invisible Knife, of course, as well. So I think this run's going to be more about crit damage than, um, than crit items. I'm still going to want Invisible Knife. You pretty much want Invisible Knife on any crit run just because it has crit rate on it and is Misfortune. And is power. Like, I would take it... I would take Invisible Knife on a fucking run that is fully invested in physical damage and has no magic damage investment and it uses crit. Like, I would take it, regardless. Just because it's that powerful of an item. You, one, it can be the pedestal. Yeah, but that's a pedestal slot, so that's also a very valuable resource. We'll see. The run will dictate what happens. That's how I'll, that's my approach in every run is let the run decide for you. If the run says that the pedestal is dedicated to mutant, then the run the pedestal is dedicated to mutant. Your coziness run worked fine, just shield swap. What is the coziness text again? Is it whenever you take damage, it procs the crit? Because that, honestly, like, as long as you're swapping, like, very consistently, that does sound like it would work. And this will not daggers, it will go beyond a 100% crit chance. Um, well, let's see. 20, 35, 65, yeah, that'd be 105. That's with Misfortune added in. Without Misfortune added in, you're just under 100. Uh, ooh! <laughs> oh, shit. I'm not even taking the Veiled Mask. I'm taking the Olive Tree Cudgel. I fucking hate Veiled Mask. Well, okay, let's consider Veiled Mask. Let's consider it. This is a time where I can actually consider this. The thing about Veiled Mask is it negates the coziness. Like, coziness becomes basically the, the Olive Tree, or I mean the Veiled Mask um, fixer. I feel like whenever you take Veiled Mask on, on strike runs, your strike runs become worse. Only very rarely do they become good. Veiled Failure. Oh man, it's like the only time it makes sense though is the thing. Uh, <laughs> it's like, if I'm ever going to use this fucking item, it's now, right? But then there's, why'd they have to come out next to an Olive Tree Cudgel? 
Yeah, you guys are right. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know. It's just like the one time I could actually get some use out of it. Prob or I, the thing about taking early Veiled Mask also is it's always very speculative that your run, you're going to get the items you want to see on a, on a crit item run or a strike run. Like, Coziness only puts me back at zero. Well, it puts me back at ten. But, um, like, we're just assuming if we take that, that we're going to see all the crit item stuff we need. If we see Veld Mask later, though, and the run is, like, doing well, then I will gladly take Veld Mask. Uh, it didn't work with other items, kinds of items. It only works with dashes. Uh, okay, you need to go, sir. Alright, good shot, please. Give me good stuff. We still haven't seen the legendary. What if it's a Veiled Mask? What if, guys? What if? It's a fucking Curse Live Embers. Do I take the money? I I'm taking the money. I was considering not for a second there, but pass we'll we'll just take the money um yes we'll take this and i i would say this is worth buying misfortune are we doing believers versus doubters sure oh oh god i'm pushing all the wrong buttons uh Previous prediction. Will Hexa win the run? Okay, I don't know what I was cooking that day. I must have been cooking meth, but I'm going to make this it again. This is like the last thing I... The last Believers vs. Doubters we did. I don't know why I typed it like that. I mean, it must have been a day where I was extremely sleep deprived or something. Dude, Tornado on that tiny platform is so unbelievably annoying. Please die, please die, please die, please die. Thank you. Yippee! Genie limbs to see if it would count as dodging. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other instance where, like... Probably not. Like, when it... I'm trying to think if there's any other, like, skull action... That is like an actual skull action. Maybe the parry on uh, on on um, on Spartan would work potentially. I don't know. It might count parries. What up, shoe? That's how. I, <laughs> that's my. That's as far as I'm going with that pronunciation on that name is shoe. I hope that's close. <laughs> you might be like, who the fuck is shoe? Every time to check that, give it a shot. It's worth a try. Because if it worked on parries, that would be a, a bonus point for it. Another check to see, and yet it doesn't work with Hercules. Oh, I mean, if it doesn't work with Genies, it's not going to work with Hercules. Man, I actually feel like I... Back in the day, I used to use Thief Armor all the time. And I've kind of stopped using it. As of like, I don't know, the last year or so. But like, it's a good item. I, I should probably start using Thief Armor more. It's like... a It's a good crit item. It's not like the best crit item or anything. But it's like, good. It's especially good in rooms. And in, in, the, uh, in the early game especially. Like against like Yggdrasil and Leona Sisters. It does good damage. Like, I mean, it's, it's kind of shredding them to pieces. And keep this in mind. 
in in the the actual thief adventure fight his scariest attack is thief armor <laughs> like the scariest thing he can do is lob a fucking ninja star at you so it's like just on that alone i should have more respect for it ow ow hey stop it that was just min maxing the uh, world tree seed It's quite crazy that at most I've missed two streams since you went to Twitch. I don't think that's true. You were gone for a very long period of time for a while in my chat. I remember. It was like a couple months period during the Dark Mirror where you weren't here at all. Or maybe, I don't know. You probably know better than me. That's how I remember it, but perhaps I'm wrong. Um, but you are here a lot, so kudos for that. Which I do appreciate a lot. Um, I'm going to take... I I'm kind of tempted to take this, but I'm going to take uh, Shadow Knights. Actually, you're a legend. First stream I've been able to catch. Uh, much love from the YouTube peasants. Thanks for being here, Austins. Appreciate you. Uh, that's very kind of you. I, I, I love hearing stuff like that. I th I'm glad you enjoy my content like that. Spirit Negotiator is worth taking. Um, we have to take Coziness. Where the hell even is it? This? No, it's this. Uh, okay, let's take this. Bit of a weird build for me, but I'm still going to do it. Is this your first time playing it, Eska? Yeah, it is your first time playing it. So you got past the problems with uh, with or Ori 1, because you were complaining in my Discord last night about the control scheme. Did you figure out how to fucking play it on keyboard and mouse? Because I, I didn't even try to learn it on keyboard and mouse. Like, it, for me, I immediately just picked up my controller, because, like, that shit sucked. Text to this dark ability? Good question. Um, I never show this, so that's a genuinely good question. It's cozy and warm. Is this a shield? While a shield... Okay, laptop. Fuck off. Fucking Windows update. So stupid. Uh, while a shield is active, skill cooldown increase, uh, speed increases by 25, 50, 75, and critical rate increases by 10, 20, 30. Damn, skill cooldown as well? Okay. Oh yeah, Ori 2 allows you to rebind your controls. Oh, you went to Ori 2. Okay, well here's the thing about Ori 2 versus Ori 1. Ori 2 is just like a way, 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 way better game across the board. So you're not, you're not missing, uh, you definitely are missing out by not playing Ori 1. It's a good game, but Ori 2 improves on it vastly. So if you do skip Ori 1 and go to Ori 2, sure, you're missing out on Ori 1 and it's very good, but uh, Ori 2 is just such a vast improvement that it's kind of crazy. What are the advantages and disadvantages of keyboard and mouse on skull for you? I've always done controller. The, my response to this always is it's whatever you learned the game on is what you're going to prefer. But for me, uh, my control scheme on skull is very, very good because my dash and attack are both on my mouse as well as my swap. Left click is um, attack, right click is dash, middle click is swap. So it's all very close together and those are like the three most important actions in Skull the Hero Slayer. WASD for movement, which is all simple. One and two for skills. And shift on quint. Like, it's all very simple. It's all very easy and intuitive to learn. So, like, for me, it was never a question. I was always going to learn this game on keyboard and mouse. But it, I don't know what the controller experience is like in Skull. But I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's very easy to learn Skull on uh, controller. So, I don't know. Whenever people ask me about this, I just tell them my uh, my preference and show them my control scheme. So if you're curious, this is what I use. But the real answer is just play whatever you're comfortable with. Whatever you learned with is going to be good for you. There is no right or wrong answer. Yeah, controller for some people, keyboard and mouse for others. I really do believe it just comes down to how you learn the game. You're going to feel at home depending on that. Uh, hmm. This is worth considering. I'm not trying to build Masterpiece, so maybe it's not. Let's keep going. We have Spirit and Negotiator, so. I'll take the Bone Pouch. Get out of my face. I'll just keep the, the money gain for now. If you can't change the buttons, go with Controller. True. Generally speaking, that's true.
But like for me, I, I don't think I could play this game on controller exclusively because like I said, I learned this on keyboard and mouse. I'm sure I could learn it eventually, but it would it would be like walking a newborn baby walking basically. Stop stop with the plates, please. And mo I don't know, what is up with game developers and, and not immediately giving the player the option to rebind controls? This is so common. It's so common, man. I don't understand it. It's very strange. And then there's some games where they allow you to rebind your controls, but they don't allow you to rebind controls to mouse. It's very odd. I just don't get it. Just give the player full creative control of how they re to bind their keys. Shadow of Mortar has this on Xbox and it's so annoying. It's even weirder on controllers because like, it's all there. Like, there's zero reason to not allow them to because like, maybe they're worried the player's gonna fuck up their control scheme or something, but it's a, it's a controller. It's so intuitive. Like, what? <laughs> it's like, I, that makes even less sense to me. Why is dash and uh, avoidance tool on control? Wait, what? Maybe I missed something you said. Hang on, let me get out of this room because this is kind of gnarly. Give me a crit rate, by the way, spokesman, please. I'm begging you. They put dash on control? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's bizarre. That... That's just... Like, okay, if you don't, if you're not mouse pilled, that's one thing. Like, that's 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 something. Like that, that's fine, I guess. But like, put it on shift, man. At least Dead Cells had the the good sense to put it on shift. I still think that sucks, but Jesus Christ, man. That's another game that's like. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. That's another game that's like extremely hard to play on keyboard and mouse. Like, if you're playing Dead Cells, you're better off just learning it on, uh... I guess at this point, I'll take this. You're better off just learning it on controller. Shoot with, uh, the, the Wisp. Okay, let's let the, uh... Let's let this guy do the work here for us. Get her. Don't let her ult. Thank you, Shadow Knights. As always, you're awesome. Gotta love Shadow Knights, guys. Playing on mobile is not difficult on Dead Cells. You know what? I think that's just because you're unhinged, DOS. Because you don't have a computer. Like, if I were to pick up... Uh, dead cells on mobile and try and play it it would be a disaster just a true true disaster so yeah exactly verb there's a lot of i don't know there was a person who emailed me a while back with a, a game they wanted me to try and it actually is a good game um and when i was trying it out and testing it for them it did not have the ability to bind certain controls to keyboard and mouse, or, or, or to mouse specifically. And they actually listened to me when I uh, asked them if they could implement that, which was very cool of them. So, uh, yo, at least at least they were open to listening to it, but I, I don't even know, like, that should be like the first thing that enters a game developer's mind if you're making a computer game. Is like, especially if it has like shooting controls, add that to keyboard and mouse. Like, I, I allow you people to bind stuff like that to mouse. Cause like, a lot of, like, every PC gamer uses a mouse. Like, there is not a single PC gamer out there who does not have a mouse and does not use it. So, it's just, it, it, to me, that's like, that would be the first thing that pops into my mind. It's 
Did a good job putting controls in good places. Well, the problem with me on on mobile games and stuff like that is like, I very I, see I'm old guys. Okay, I don't know if you know this. I enjoy the tactile feeling of having like some like if I'm pressing a button, I need to feel that button in my fingertips. And mobile games always have the controls on the on the screen. And I know you can have like Bluetooth controllers and stuff like that, but like if we're talking like at that point, you're just playing a console game basically. So. Like, mobile game controls, specifically, to me, are very bad, and I do not like them. What a bold. Boomer speaking? Exactly. Boomer opinions matter, bro. Uh, okay. We still need to find strike and, and like, some, some shield generation. Uh, no. Well, we do have gold percent gain. You know what? Sure. Uh, we only lost a little bit there. It's not a big deal. Uh, what's on this prince's box? Garbage. I'll be taking these bone shards. And now from here, we figure out the rest. No. It's two Carleon swords already? Get out of here. This is technically crit. Is it what I'm looking for? What would I get rid of for it? I guess I would get rid of the the bow. It does give me treasure for it. You know what? Sure. I do want strike on this build, but we don't want strike on the bow. Chillin', what about you? Chillin', killin'. Is non-ready game since they are trying things? That's actually fair. I mean, this was a non-ready game. It was early access, but to me... And I'm not even ripping into this person because they did immediately uh, implement it as soon as I brought it up. But like, ooh, okay, that's the perfect item. But to me, that's like day one. Day one, you add in uh, being able to bind controls to keyboard and, or to mouse specifically in a computer game. It's so important. Like, that's like the first thing on my mind. And that's someone who plays a lot of PC games, so. Um... I don't know what to get rid of here, actually, for this. It could be easy come, easy go, treasure four. I think it is, actually. And now we're back on the... <laughs> we're back at it, guys. Treasure four is back on the menu. You'll love to see it. Uh, We could get rid of the solar sword. I think I will get rid of the solar sword. As much as it sucks to do. Like, we don't need Fulgent Dawn. Uh, we can also do one more refresh. Okay, we got our strike. Because that's a good strike item. Even though we don't get the full benefit from it, we're missing on attack speed and movement speed, but the crit rate's what matters the most to us. So, more than likely, this is my strike too for the whole run. We'll see. There could be a better strike item that comes along, but we're getting there, guys. This is starting to become the kind of run that was requested of me. Also, it's extra work to think about the game involving multiple buttons. Uh, I mean, I'm not a coder, but like, how how hard is it to implement um, uh, keyboard or mouse control into your game? It can't be that hard. I'm going to keep opening chests for a little bit. And immediately punished by not swapping. Screw you, buddy. I'm not gonna go too hard here. Like there's not that much I could get here that helps my run. So like risking my HP for needless rewards. Like getting gold is good and all of it. We are going to the Leona sisters. I have the option to change controls other than being old. Yeah, well, or the thing is like Ori's old, right? But Ori isn't even that old. There were like games where, <laughs> games had key rebindings in the time of Ori. But they also were a small indie dev back team back then, so, like, they're going to make mistakes, and they learn from their mistakes, and that's what's most important. There's probably a mod, I would imagine, that lets you rebind Ori controls or something. I, I would be shocked if, um... No, 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 not Ori in the Will of the Wisp. Ori, Ori 1 is, I think, close to a decade old. Uh, we dodged the damage there somehow, I don't even know.
Nine years old? Yeah, it's it's close. But like I said, <laughs> back in 2014, I promise you guys, I know that's like, you, you guys, some of y'all weren't even born back then probably, or you were like little babies crawling around. Uh, games back then had key rebindings, I promise. Warrior 1 is 2017? Uh, no. I think it's 2014. Twenty fifteen. So it's um it's eight years old. No, it is nine years old. God damn it. God damn twenty twenty four, you motherfucker. I hate twenty twenty four. It's twenty twenty one in my mind, dude. The last three years didn't happen. <laughs> How young do you think we are? I don't know, I was just making fun of y'all for being babies. Uh, storm clouds. Normally, I'd be all about it, but we are not doing mixed damage, so I'm going to leave it. You guys make fun of me for being old, so it's free game to make fun of you guys for being young. The eternal back and forth between the young and the old. Uh, please, can I have some good healing, Mim? Th oh, okay, alright. <laughs> hey. Thanks. Sorry, man, the last three years were canon events. Bro, no, they weren't, bro. You can't, you can't convince me they were. Wrong. False. It's a side story. Wait, huh? What? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to the golden sword I was buying? I got rid of the fucking solar sword for it. Did I accidentally drop it? I did. Oh my god. No way. Uh. Wait, what? How? <laughs> what, what was my mind thinking, dude? My fucking golden sword, man. It's like so much worse than it could be right now. Just spawn it back in. Okay. It doesn't matter. The The problem with getting rid of the golden sword is I lost the shop scaling it had. Like, there's a golden sword right here. I'm going to take this one. But, like, I lost the shop scaling I would have had. One, two, three, four. Okay. Do I care about treasure four? Kind of and kind of not. I don't, but I do. So, if I'm not getting rid of the gold incense burner, what am I getting rid of? This is crit, which makes me want to keep it more. But do we need this? How much crit is this? It's um, 25 for 4 seconds when hit. And currently we're at 40. And with coziness, we're at 70. So it does matter. So I guess we just get rid of this. Cudgel? Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah. Let me do that real quick, please. It's hip up here in the womb. Honestly, keep this in mind. When you were in the womb, you had no fears. You had no you didn't like you didn't know anything, but you also didn't have any fears. You didn't have any 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 uh problems. You weren't you weren't in pain because of a stomach ulcer or sciatica. You were just chilling in the womb, brother. So like may honestly, maybe it was better in the womb. Okay, what is happening? Remember when I said I see this item more than most people? I don't... <laughs> what do I do here? I, I can't take this. Let's count how many item slots we even have that we can, like, fluctuate with. This could stand to go. This could stand to go. These two are here to stay. This is probably here to stay. This could go. So, so one, two. We already have Masterpiece. So that would make three, potentially four, and I, okay, so we actually can take this. You were an accident, baby? Hey, me too, but you didn't know that when you were a baby, dude. You didn't know in the womb that you were an accident, baby. Uh, wow, I have no damage. Okay, I'm taking this. How do I have no damage? You did? You must have been a fucked up baby then, dude. Fucked up baby. All 
All right, it's masterpiece time, guys. Again, run it back. This time with crit items. Capital G, I want a refund. What? What are you talking about? Capital G. The hell are you talking about, Autor? Kevin killed the sisters yet? What? What does that have to do with anything? I'm on my way to kill him right now. They're about to die. I didn't realize I was speed running. I don't even know what you're talking about. You're just speaking gibberish, Autor. Speak the forgotten tongues. Uh, cause you got you opened like a Necronomicon at some point in your life and it fucked your mind up. That's what I always assumed. Am I wrong? The cudgel damage percent? Oh, okay, I see, I see. Although, like, even then, like we have courage too. I thought my damage would be better. Okay, she's fucked because of the Shadow Knight, so... No matter how bad my damage is, Shadow Knight still reigns supreme. Alright, we're gonna leave her here. Let her... Uh, sister come down and beat the shit out of her. Come on, short hair! Yeah! Let's freaking go! I'm not going to kill her here, though, because I'd like to lower the uh, the other sister's HP even more. Ah! Also, I'm... Okay, no, we got her low. Okay, nice. Oh, no, Mystery's going to kill her. Alright, this is a good... Uh... Yeah, that, that's good. She's going to spawn at, like, probably a quarter of her HP, which is nice. Learn in the womb. Nah, you opened an Necronomicon. I'm right. You, you like, poisoned your brain with ancient, forbidden knowledge. Alright, that was super easy. Jesus Christ. Just goes to show how crit items work. Also, earlier you were talking about being cozy in the womb. Yeah, but what do you mean capital G... I want a refund. I'm still confused about that. <laughs> He's out here talking crazy. We even got a courage uh, item here. I don't want to get rid of this, actually. The more I think about it. I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah, did you think I was joking when I said... I never questioned for a second that you have brain worms. I do not fret for even a second. I knew the whole time. Like, 100%. Never doubted it. I'm going to upgrade my shield first. The Hercules bow aura is... It's not good looking. And honestly, the olive tree cudgel or Like, the olive tree cudgel visual effects are also kind of weird. Like... The fact that it's just like a plain yellow line that appears underneath you is kind of like not very intricate, I guess. Like very basic stuff. But we don't like Olive Tree Cudgel because it's pretty. We like Olive Tree Cudgel because it's stupid and ridiculous and overpowered. Dandruff Aura? Hey, on, let's see. Oh, uh, we're at two right now. It's five, right? Oh, it's six. Oh. Oh, God, the way it sparkles. Gross, bro. I guess we're going into the pit of shame. It is what it is.
took a lot there, actually. The mana attack item, but in reverse. Which mana attack item? The new one? What is Ori's gender? Uh, someone earlier said she, so I think Ori's a girl. Mana attack gravity generator? What are you talking about? Are you talking about Olive Tree Cudgel or are you talking about um, the strike item? Alright, you know what? I don't have fucking time to wait for y'all. God, Jesus. Walk faster, for the love of Pete, man. They literally drop one gold no matter where you are in the game. These are like the most worthless enemies to min-max killing. I'm glad someone pointed that out in my, one of my videos, because like... All this time, I would die. kill them and get their gold. But they literally dropped one gold piece. I thought maybe it would scale with the game as you go further, but no. The devs are like, please don't kill these guys. Play our stealth minigame, please. I would rather get one gold than play the stealth minigame, honestly. I'm keeping it real. Like, I will still awaken these guys when it benefits me and uh, run past them. Because I'm just, I'm not playing Smell Gear Solid today. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that Centauros over my, uh, uh, Shadow Knights, because I'm crazy. I've lost my mind. Try to decide. Pass. That can be your little pet item, dog. You can have the secret knowledge that it's good and everyone else is like, no, it sucks. DOS will try it with you, though. You and DOS can, can have Discord conversations about how sick it is. At least has the gravity ball falling off the ground before the shockwave happens. Oh shit, remember when I said I'm gonna take this if I see it? Any remembers? The time has come. But it's hard to fit, genuinely hard to fit. Oh Jesus Christ. Ugh, what do I do? I think I have to get rid of this, but I lose misfortune. What does this do to me? <laughs> Ooh. Yikes. I'm still doing it. Time to lose. Hard. I think what this does is maybe makes me retake this. Okay, what? Oh, no. Here's actually what needs to happen in this shop. I need to find Masterpiece now. That's what needs to happen here. And the odds of that happening are extremely high. Like, super, super high. We can, we can do it here. This is also... Oh, yeah. 100%. I take this. Come on. Come on, baby. Masterpiece now, please. Come on, come on. Dude, come on, please. Dude! Oh! Let's go. Let's go, guys. Holy fuck. Sometimes it just works out. God bless America. Oh, minus five? Are you for real? Wait, what? Where did that come from? Wait, why? Why is it minus five? I'm so confused. It was 20. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We must have had coziness active. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, that changes things. Huh? <laughs> also, I guess this was active too. Okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna be t touch and go for a little bit, guys, okay? But we have the means to climb out of this crit deficit. Because we have this, we, this is gonna be awoken. We have coziness. So we're gonna have decent crit rate, okay? It's gonna be fine. It's just gonna be hard for a while. I always forget temporary buffs when looking at this. Because there's so many different temporary buffs to account for. Like, there's just too many. You can't... 
you can't be a gigabrain genius at all times and note like ha calculate every single fucking thing you fucking bitch fucking dos skull acting like he always knows everything that's happening oh also i wasn't even accounting for the the swordsman skull actually like that's gonna make it really easy to awaken this all uh this like i was preparing myself for the grind but um we can get this awoken almost instantly actually okay what could possibly be in this box you guys most most buffs memorized but the thing is you can have most buffs memorized but you're not going to know at any given time during the run how you can't account for all of it like there's so much happening at any given point on a skull run like i in that room i had to account for the buff on the uh, for one coziness um also i had to account for the buff on the um the what's it called what it, uh great bow of truth because we had that and we also had coziness at the same time so like there, there was a lot happening there that was happening behind the scenes that like i would have had to immediately have recognized while i'm playing the game at the like as as um viewers it's also easier for y'all to immediately notice things i'm the one playing the game and trying to live here point being shut up <laughs> You can always look, this is not a lie. I'm not lying. I speak the truth. Listen, Lucas, on is literal hell. Wait, work here is literal hell and it gets worse when furnace breaks. Is Do you guys have a broken furnace? It seems like you always have a broken furnace, though. Like, that place just sucks, brother. Did they switch your work schedule yet? Why are you arguing? I'm not arguing with DOS. I'm playing around with DOS. It fucking broke again. I'm losing it. When are you getting your schedule changed? That would need more masterpiece to max the omen than ditch everything for better stuff. Um, I'm going to keep some masterpiece, but I probably will end up ditching. Like, like we're not keeping. Um, actually. Oh, we're at Masterpiece 3. That's a problem. I didn't even think about that. Oh, boy. Now we need two more Masterpiece. Oh, I didn't even fucking think about that. So in the next shop, I have to get rid of one of the items I want to keep for something I don't want. Is there a single Masterpiece item I actually want? The thing is, my damage is already high. Is that real? Yes, this is real. This is my real damage. Where is that all? Okay. <laughs> How were we at? Yeah, Crown of Thorns would be nice, actually. How were we at, like, 200 damage earlier? And I was like, holy crap, my damage is so low. And now we're at 1,000. Like, we're only scaled to 3 on this. Courage. We had Courage 2 back then. Oh, it might be the Olive Tree. It probably is the Olive Tree, actually. Just extremely dense damage scaling. It doesn't need to be upgraded to give the stat boost. Cudgel. It's probably a bunch of different factors coming together. The Masterpiece Omen is giving me like 60, which is, okay, 60, 180, and then another 180. So it's giving me like 300 damage percent, like 300 some. So there's that. It's a lot of reasons. It's gonna make awakening this, uh, this, um, this blood drunk sword a little difficult, but we should be able to do it. One eighty plus one fifty on the omen. I think it's one eighty plus one eighty. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, it's not 180 plus 180. It's 180 plus 50. Yeah, 180 plus 150. I thought it was 60 60, but. Either way, it's a fuck ton of damage. So even if I didn't max my Masterpiece Omen here, we would still be pretty happy. But I am going to try and max it, obviously. We're juggling so many strategies here, but, like, it works because the damage is so dense.
I may find out this week, but I don't have high hopes. Wait, hang on. If uh, nobody said a word to me yet, still, you bring it up, man. They can't, like, you. They. I don't know. It just sounds like they don't respect you. But, like, you're gonna have to bring it up to them because maybe they forgot. I mean, you literally. You, you didn't have a ride home yesterday. Like. Like, that's the kind of shit, man. Like, this place just sounds like it's terrible. I hope you can get out of there soon. Even though you make decent money from it, it's not worth it. What's my crit right now? 15? We still need crit, man. We still need, like, really, really dense crit. We need something like Thieves Blackstone Daggers. If I see Thieves Blackstone Daggers, I don't know what I do about my, um... About my Masterpiece shit. I think we just stop scaling our Masterpiece Omen at that point. Because I won't have enough room to, to carry all this shit. This is probably worth taking. But once again, we find ourselves with the problem of what goes, right? That's the problem consistently on a build like this. Yeah, we don't take Kyrian here. Kyrian doesn't fit on this run. We, we just can't afford to hold on to it. Break time? Um, Let me get out of this shop and then I will. Thanks for reminding me, by the way, but I, I want to get out of this shop. Yeah, we, we can't fit that. Even though it's crit, it's not the kind of crit we're looking for. Thieves Blackstone Daggers is pretty much it, honestly. Uh, okay, let me... Uh, so this is something I've been doing as of late, guys. It's important for my health. I hope you understand. Uh, I need to take a like a 10 minute break or so to just kind of like stand up and walk around and kind of just like alleviate my mind. And also I've been having like a back issues lately. So I just need to take a step away for a little bit. I'll leave you guys with the act three music here uh, about 10 minutes or so. And then I'll be back. Uh, hopefully you guys stick around. But if you don't, that's fine. I understand. Uh, but I will be back after 10 minutes regardless. So see you all in about 10. Uh, just talk amongst yourselves. All right, guys, let's freaking go. Mind cleared. And look, I remember to get rid of BRB. See? I'm learning. JoJo sucks. Okay, you guys are you guys are going off on each other right now. Those are fighting words for some people, Sly. Some people will not abide by you saying such a thing. Uh, why do we... Eh, no. Someone earlier asked what Ori has between their legs and the answer is whatever you want. Apparently, really? I don't know. I've never thought about it. <laughs> like, Ori is just a little critter to me. I don't know. What up, Mac? Welcome! Loser! What? I don't want to become a flambe alpha boy. I'd rather die in the... Wait. What's Ken get? I don't even know. Why do not want to become a flamboyant alpha femboy? At least you'd be alpha. Dude, I'm Alpha. I'm I'm not even Alpha. I'm Sigma. I'm Sigma. So I've been getting in, back into Skull and dot dot dot. Very dramatic. Just got Kengen Ashura. Let me get out of this room, because this is a scary room. What's my... Minus five. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. Don't worry. We're going to be climbing out of the hole soon. It won't be long now. 
Speedrun Mirror 10 again because I'm perfectly fine and not Mexican at all. I've done um, Mirror 10 speedruns before. Though if you're looking, if you want to know what, I, I'm, I assume you know this, but um, the the speedrun or the the mirror people usually speedrun at competitively is like Mirror 2. At least it used to be. Things might have changed, but I'm pretty sure it would still be Mirror 2. Okay. You do know that? Yeah, I figured you did. Look it up. Jesus Christ. Trying. Ashura. Ken. Ken Gan Ashura. It's a fighting show? Like, literally just fighting? Apparently people like it. I don't know. It's only three seasons, so regardless, it's going to be a while before I check it out. And then you said my 33-minute run was a world record for Mirror 10 because there wasn't any <laughs> run submitted for it. Yeah, I don't remember that, but that that would be that would technically probably be the truth. Um, I've been I'm far removed from the speedrun meta. There's not I, I'm not super familiar with what it's like. These also look, guys, we got it. We freaking did it, guys. Now we have crit rate that's not the negatives. I think it's gonna be uh 15 35 wait really oh that's with the other thing okay I see. we still need more we need thieves black steel daggers for sure it's like very important oh but there's masterpiece okay uh mm. <laughs> okay here's the deal guys and this is a pretty big deal so pay attention we are at a crossroads. Do we commit to building this up as much as possible or do we keep it where it is and just be happy with our damage percent that we got from it and kind of start scaling? Or there's a secret third option. We ditch the Veiled Mask. And I have a feeling I know what y'all are gonna say. <laughs> Drop Cudgel? Ditch mask? Yeah. I'm... Um, ditch the mask? Yeah. It just... You know what? Veiled mask just makes crit... It makes strike runs worse, man. I don't care how powerful its amplification is, man. It just makes them worse. All you need is, uh... You, all you need is, um, strike two. And that's more than enough. Sounds like a skill issue. What you think? I, mean, I don't know. You are over here championing the uh, the hidden the, uh, hidden blade omen, or the hidden hidden is. What? I always get it mixed up. I think it's hidden blade. Actually, I could probably just check. Yeah, hidden blade. So I don't know if I can trust your word. Hmm. Should I take hard shell? Is veiled max the worst legendary? Uh, no. I think Doomsday is worse. Do not have mass. The main time I take it really is with Samurai. Take Relapse. Wait, Relapse? Oh. No. <laughs> uh, Hard Shell, yes or no? I'm trusting y'all. It, it's basically just a dark ability that gives me 30% crit, basically. That's what I'm taking this for if I take it. I don't think I need it. Predicted pain? I don't... Predicted pain's fine, I guess. I don't think... Is this Go-Getter? We have this and this and this for Go-Getter. I think that's enough to justify Go-Getter over Predicted Pain. Yeah, I don't think I'd take it, actually. Glass body? We don't have glass body. Yeah, the gunpowder sword, I think, justifies it. With good crit rate as well. Like, 
We take it. And we don't have um, last resistance for once. I'm flying solo without it. Okay, we just scale this up as much as possible. Scars is a good skull player. What's Scars say? Anything streaming guy says is the opposite of the truth. Oh, <laughs> he got you there, uh, Scars McLovin. <laughs> I agree with you, by the way, Scars, but he did get you there. How much crit we have now? 45. Well, we actually have more than that. We have um, 75 whenever we have our uh, coziness up. But other than that, From here, the run's going to get pretty interesting. I'm not going to lie. I think we're in potential, like, I'm not going to say it's one of the strongest runs I've ever had, but it's, it's really powerful. Like, this run has everything you want, and man, shit might get crazy here. This might be where shit hits the wall, honestly. I'm just going to full send this, I guess. There's a lot of good dupes here, and there's a lot of bad dupes here. There's a good chance we don't take this. There's a good chance this skyrockets my run. Okay, that's not one of the things I was really hoping for, but like obviously this is incredible. We ditched the hope slasher, I think. <laughs> I think we ditched the hope slasher. <sighs> it... Maybe I ditched this. I. Uh. This does scale me by 50. I lose 10% by ditching this. I think that's the... Oh, actually, I lose more by losing the Masterpiece Inscription. But the gloves? The gloves are um, go-getter. They're way more consistent go-getter. Drop cup? No. What? What? Slide? What, what, what do you want me to guess? This is a really hard run to build. Assassin Dagger? That's my strike. It's also crit rate. I could buy strike on the pedestal. What does my run look like like this? 30? Plus 30 some? Uh, okay, I, I think we can get rid of this. I'll buy strike on the pedestal. Drop cudgel? What? Yeah, let me just drop both of these mother hubbards real quick. I finally get to take a break after two weeks. Nice, man. Wait, how long's your break? Man, we are doing so much damage. 30 minutes? Oh, what? Why are you acting like that's a good thing? What the fuck? Okay, you need to leave that place, man. That place treats you like garbage. All right, here's the thing. You guys have been advocates for, for Masterpiece all this time. Do I buy this and break it, or do I keep it and get rid of something for it because frankly i think what we're gonna have to do is if we're scaling this item we're scaling it the slow way we're not even evolving our masterpiece items we're just buying masterpiece items and breaking the masterpiece items that place it sound that place violates so many laws it seems like like you are you are owed a break during work sly Buy it and break it then? It just, it doesn't evolve. So like, we're only gonna scale it, very, it's gonna be very slowly and we're not gonna actually full scale this thing, I don't think, but it's probably still worth. We need to buy strike, so let's buy strike. We also need to buy something else. Brawl, mystery four, arms four. We got options. Oh my god, are you goddamn kidding me right now? What? Wait, what? Look! <laughs> I can awaken this thing! Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, something... Something has to go here. Um, probably this. And then we lose courage, but I can buy courage on the pedestal, actually. 
But then I want to buy Misfortune on the pedestal. This is such a hard run to build, guys. You guys, this is insanely difficult to build. Um, this immediately goes. We take both of these back, obviously. Something here has to go. What does Bow do? Um, it's a strike item that whenever you use six skills, um, gives, gives you 60 damage percent and also gives you crit rate. 20 crit rate. Don't destroy anything. Reroll. Uh, I don't have enough money to buy. Something has to go here. Something has to go here. You guys... See, this is the thing. You guys want to have your cake and eat it too. But something here has to go. Like 100% something has to go. And it's not the Olive Tree Cudgel. <laughs> it's something else. No, it ain't the Cudgel. Gloves? It's one of these guys. It's one of these two items. I'm on. A, I'm more of a glove guy than I am a, a Great Sage's Time guy. Though I guess the Great Sage's Time scales my damage. Gloves. Uh, the more I think about it, the more I think I'm with you. And now I would say at this point, guys, we are entering strongest run I've ever had. I think we're there. I'm not even fronting. I think this is among the strongest runs that I've ever had in my entire life. I mean, look at this. Crown of Thrones is no better than Cudgel. It has Misfortune on it, that's why. And also, it's, it's a masterpiece as well. But yeah, this run's ridiculous. Even more than my double cudgel little bone run. We'll see. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, Scars. But maybe. It's not impossible. Yeah, th there is nothing that can stand in my way right now. Not, not, like, literally nothing can stop me. Not even the Huntress would stop me here. So honestly, I hope she shows up just so I can really fucking kill her. Like, she deserves it. What is this? Okay, we don't need that. Oh, I should have broke it, though. Whoops. Ah! Stop it. I mean, that Dark Elite literally just melted into a pile of goo. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. This boner could be much stronger. Yeah, we need black steel daggers. But if I get the black steel daggers, here's the thing. If I get black steel daggers, coziness is like worthless. Like at that point, the coziness could probably go and we could get something better. Okay, apparently a uh, the only thing that can stand in my way is a uh, a disaster dark elite who instantly shreds 100 plus HP from me. Not that it matters. We're still not going to be stopped. We installed Astral Scent. The new shit's very good. The problem I have with the new shit is like the PvP arena is only local. Why did why did they do that? I know it's hard to add net play to your single player game, but like people are not gonna do single player uh, PvP in Astral Ascent. Or like uh local uh uh PvP is what I meant, not single player. Whenever you kill a uh, adventurer before they ult, that's how you know you're in good. You're, like the run is good. <laughs> Twelve seconds to max crown. It's not about maxing the crown. It's the inscriptions, Dosh. The inscriptions are very good. Give the adventurer a chance. Mm, pass. <laughs> Not interested. And another thing to keep in mind about the the crown of thorns is it's it's um it's go getter boosted as well on my already massive damage percent. Maxing the crown is almost worthless to the overall value of the crown on this run in particular. Like regardless if it's maxed, <clears throat> it's going to be doing insane damage. 
You're just like hyper fixating on the details that don't really matter. Though I know I can't change your mind, so I'm not going to try, but I'm telling you right now, like, it does not matter. The crown itself lasts five seconds, which is, it's like perfectly acceptable long amount of time for the amp. I mean, that's like, uh, that's, um, mana gauntlet levels. Not as consistent as the mana gauntlet, obviously, because you have to be able to crit. You can play local from a distance. Um, how how much distance do they give you for uh, Astral Ascent? Because if if the if it's a if it's a lot of distance, which I know it's not, you, it's probably very close that you have to. But um, if it if it if it didn't matter, they would just make it net play. Like the local definitely matters, and like almost no one's gonna do it. Like, when I first heard they were adding PvP to Astral, I got super fucking excited. But then I saw it was only local, and I was like, oh, man, that, that's not all what I was hoping for. I'd love to have a PvP in a roguelite that plays like this. Like, if Skull had PvP, it'd be over. I'd be on that shit all the time. But, um... Sadly, there is no game like this that has PvP that I know of. Man, we are just so insanely overpowered. The thing about adding um, PvP into a game that was single player previously, or Astral Sent wasn't single player, but it was always local. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Hey, on. Okay. Let's see if we can awaken this. Oh, we can. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think I can take it. I don't think I can take this. <laughs> I don't think I can. Okay. It's cool that we found it, guys. But I just don't think it fits on this build. Like, what we do here is we just take these two back. And we full max our... We full max the thing. Like, this is now a 10 max. <laughs> Y'all know what this is? This is the Goblet of Everlasting Heat. Uh, it is a good item. It is a good item. But it's not good here. I don't know if you're just saying flatly that it's bad or you're just saying it's not good here. If you're saying it's flatly bad, I disagree. Is this YouTube hero? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, that's a DLC item. Um, I'll try and catch you up with everything. Uh, as because like, like I, it's I probably should have read that. But if I if I read every item every video that I come across that someone's not familiar with, I would just be reading items all the time. So when it comes to like enhanced inscriptions i usually stop and read them for people but when it comes and we definitely can't fit this at this point but when it comes to just like different dlc items i i cannot take the time to read everything it would it would just take too much time but if you if i ever am like thinking about something and like there's an item you don't recognize mac just say so and i'll read it for you but like that was very very quick decision making that didn't take long for me to process but look at our damage guys is that real? It is real. <laughs> That's real, guys. That damage is actually real. Custom items? No, no. These are all DLC. Though I am flattered that you think my, uh, my spriting abilities are on the level of the devs. It's not, but I'm flattered that that was a thought that went through your head. I do not have the custom items mod on right now. I might turn it on for the next run. I probably won't, though. Because I have a run in mind that I want to do. Alright, we got 206 bone shards here. Uh, we are going to scale the hell out of our Arachna Shrine. Keep in mind, guys, compare this... For those who were here for the first run of the stream, compare this one to the last one. Uh, my bone shard count in particular. We built two commons to legendary. The last run, we had a unique, didn't we? Yeah, we had Berserker. And it's not like we low rolled our doors on the last run. I don't even know what happened on that last run, guys. I'm trying to still figure that out. That was a very weird uh, run that ended up being way weaker than it should have. Exclusively, I think, because of Bone Shard Count. This run will be better only with better skulls. I think um, 
the the swordsman is really good for this run, but the the shield is is like here for the coziness. But like swordsman is a really good crit item guy with um, and he's also a really good strike skull too. What's the cost of selling curse again? Yeah, do double the normal. I think we're stuck with it actually, which is fine. It's not a big deal. I wasn't thinking about it. Uh, yeah, we're stuck with, uh, we're stuck with the curse, but it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Shyness would be so nice, though. Oh, we're two off. Come on, dog. <laughs> we're 200 off, man. But it's fine. We'll live. Shyness would have been so fucking good. Wolf and King, true. That's true. Yes, Sly. Sell cudgel. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Hey, that's the funny thing though, Mac. You're familiar with the cudgel. You know why you're familiar with the cudgel? Because it's so stupidly busted. Hi. It's fucking doing a family guy joke there, buddy. Big family guy head over here. Sly. What was the last dark ability there? Uh, what do you mean? Who? You? You don't know the Stewie? The Stewie bit? That's, you literally just did the Stewie bit. Never triggered the cudgel, uh, cudgel death effect. I'd have to lose reassembly for that. We don't have last resistance. We, we don't have any extra lives. I didn't do it on purpose because it would be weird to do it on a run like this. Um, hmm. I guess we're just gonna have to walk away with these really awkward inscriptions like mystery three and arms three. It's fine. Uh, cause my pedestals are really good right now. Architect's breastplate. Yeah. Let me just get rid of something here for architect's breastplate. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this can go, I guess. <laughs> Actually, this could go. This could go. The thing is it's 60 damage percent, which also this is 60 damage percent. That's not true, streaming guy. Uh, we took coziness. So here's my here's my um my layout for things, right? So coziness was like the run request. Uh, we're always gonna take collection desire. Although I guess I could have foregone collection desire for uh. Actually, no. All right then, that's fair. I could have foregone uh collection desire in Act Two, and t or Act Three, whichever way. I don't remember where I took it. I think it was Act Three actually. I could have not taken the collection desire and then. Uh, purposefully taken uh, um, uh, last resistance and, and lost it against Chimera. So I guess in terms of min-maxing, that's like a min-max I missed. Not that it really matters. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to see what you guys are talking about. Buy Quint and get the health. It deals damage and no need to take damage. How expensive is the DLC? Like $4, it's nothing. Sage's time is just better. The only thing that makes me kind of want this is the consistent 30% crit. But 45% crit's more than enough, so I think you guys are right. We just, we drop this and uh, take the max HP. And like I said, yeah, four US dollars, that's important uh, to point out. But this is one of the strongest runs I've ever had, genuinely. It's insane. Like this run is ridiculous. 445 max HP. Um, wait, where is that coming from? That's not real. That's Courage 4. Okay, so when Courage 4 is activated, and keep in mind, we're going to have Courage Enhanced, so this is going to be a very consistent number. And when we're out with Shield, we have even more uh, damage percent thanks to his Shield scaling. Like, we're going to literally destroy every single thing that stands in our path moving forward. They're going to turn into Red Mist in the wind. It's, it's over. Easy dub. Make Haxa flustered when he least expects it. Good luck, dog. Better item than Great Sage. Even then. Like, even then, it's like a good courage scale, damage scaling masterpiece item. I don't even know if I could ask for better than Great Sage's time. Like, what's better? For the build we have, I think nothing. Ooh, 
No, you fucking bitch. That's what I get for trying to, um... I, I was trying to kill him with the concentration skill on, uh, shield. I should have just swapped, uh, the swordsman a long time ago. Hope Slasher? Metal Box? Okay, Metal Box is, is true. Yeah, Alexander is completely fucked. Um, Dark Skull is probably even more fucked, honestly. Also, let me just activate a, uh, a Shadow Knights real quick. Stay there, bud. Thank you. Just stay there. Take the full Shadow Knights. We may be able to kill him here before he even gets to do the phase three. Bye. Tibia just to top it off. Probably Tibia. If I'm min-maxing, it's 100% Tibia. I think on a run where it's like one of my strongest runs ever, I'm taking... Oh yeah, Femur, Femur. And Femur is actually good here. So actually, unironically, I will take the Femur. Yeah, I'll take the Femur. The femur is going to pop off. The femur is probably stronger than Tibia, actually. Yeah, this is a unironic Tibia. Or, I mean, a femur. The only thing that sucks about the femur is my crit rate flat without the coziness boost is only 45. But, like, 45 is still consistent crit, so. Alright, let's look at our damage here. See, 2009... 2000, <laughs> 2009 <laughs> dude what a, we just popped the fuck off 2009 the year of screamo it's pelvis it's not what a fucking boost i know brother hell yeah 3k damage yeah unironically it's crazy jokes aside And just like that, Skull is uh, nearly into his uh, his ult. And yeah, look at that. He's in his ult. He's not even, yeah, he didn't even get to do, like, the jump in the air attack. <laughs> Nutty. Dark Skull is so easy. Yeah, true, dude. What a fucking easy fight. Like, I'm not even respecting him a little bit here. Which is actually really stupid of me. I just lost, like, 100 HP. Okay, yeah, I'm being a fucking moron. Okay, hang on. Let's, re let's rein it in a little bit here. Okay, he gave me the easy attack, which is nice. I'm not worried yet, for the record, guys. Even though I was an idiot there and took a bunch of unnecessary damage, I'm not scared. Here comes the Giga Ult. Like, I can dodge this attack very easily. Just have to dodge this. If I get hit by this, we lose our uh, reassembly. And we're home for it. Yeah. Simple as... How long is this video even going to be? Uh, we're, I'm not going to leave the break in, obviously. So, um, it's going to be probably pretty standard length. Um, because we did high roller doors. So, anyways, um, oh, what? Okay, Sly, what the fuck? Hang on, let me do this video real quick, and then I'll look at what the fuck you just did. Jesus Christ, Sly. <laughs> Thanks. Whatever you did, I appreciate it, but good lord. Uh, increases physical attack and magic attack by 4% for 3 seconds upon landing. A critical hit, maximum 80%.
Crit damage increases by 55% when this effect reaches its maximum value. It's a permanent buff for the record. You have a message for YouTube chat? You guys are not, I'm not leaving it in. <laughs> Just say your message now. He sounds flustered. You're a fucking asshole, man. <laughs> it's like he's like evil Santa Claus. Santa Claus with ulterior motives. Like, instead of just being holly and jolly and spreading joy, he's like, I'm spreading fucking flusteredness. Krampus. Krampus eats people. Sly is like a step above Krampus. But, um, as I was saying, the, uh... Oh, he's doing the annoying attack. The, um... The buff you get when you max out the, uh... The, um... The, the dark skull item we got is permanent. So, like, all you have to do is reach that, that limit one time and you have the the crit damage forever. Which is very cool. Aw, oh, dude, he's being a real dickhead. Wait, did... Bingus, that's it? That's your message for YouTube? Yeah, Krampus, Krampus eats fucking children. That's, that's a step above the evil for, uh... For, for, for Sly, you know, like... Sly's not that evil, he's just a little evil. Though, who knows, maybe Sly does eat kids' limbs. Do you, Sly? I'm defending you here, but I'm kind of doing it blind. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't kill him yet, please. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. Bye. Is Hacks almost throwing as a classic. Hey, I did uh, I did in Dark Soul 5. Y'all, I'm such a nice person to ask Pip. Are you sure you want Pip to be your judge of character? Your your knight? Golly, that's a great response, Bug Joy. <laughs> Genuinely, what else can be said? Like this, I don't know if you just got here, Bug Joy. This is one of the strongest runs I've ever had, and I say that a lot. I even said it recently, but like this one speaks for itself. How do we do this windscreen? I don't think there's any good way to do it. Yeah, that's like the best we got. Pip, well-known, trustworthy individual. All right, there it is, guys. GG's. That was nutty. That was just straight up ridiculous, honestly. Um, very much not going to get a run like that for a while. And the funny thing is, you guys didn't see the first run of this stream. It actually wasn't all too dissimilar from this. It's not time to end. I have one more run for the record. Um, We got one more. But, uh... It wasn't all too dissimilar from this one. We had the Masterpiece Omen, and it was maxed out, and it lost because uh, I, I honestly just put that loss down to Bone Shard luck because we, we didn't get to scale our uh, Arachna Shrines up very high, and our my attacks were very slow, and, uh, like, I don't know. It, it just did not work, but this one worked out spectacularly to be one of the strongest runs I've ever had. Honestly, I'm going to say this much. I need to take this uh, Dark Skull item more because it definitely rivals the strength of Tibia. If you have um, high crit rate and you have Strike on your build, this is a genuinely very, very good Dark Skull item. It's one of the top ones for sure. You heard that, YouTube? If you want more runs, come over to Twitch. Thank you, Mac. Yeah, <laughs> my chat, the classic moment where my chat shills better than I do. I need to tell my, I need to freaking ask these people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I haven't done it in forever. I keep forgetting.
Um, but yeah, that was a very cool run. Obviously, it speaks for itself. Um, Strike 2 is good, honestly. Like, I think Strike 2 is better than Strike 4 90% of the time. Strike 4 is just... It's so... You have to have so many strike items. And it's just such an investment. You you lose out a lot of that damage percent. Although, I would say Strike 4 runs can be the strongest runs in all of Skull. But Strike 2 is just consistent and easy to do. So, nothing compares to Pelvis. Pelvis is good too, by the way. Like, unironically, Pelvis is one of the top ones as well. Um... Like, I don't know why y'all are memeing about it, because it actually is really good. Fucking amazing at this shit? Yep. <laughs> you you got me, man. You fucking got it over me, at least. I'm bad at shilling. It's, like, probably the thing I'm the worst at when it comes to doing this thing. This whole YouTube sh shindig. But, uh, everything about this run was dope, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I try, I'm trying not to ramble too much on the outro. The only thing I would say I fucked up on, two things. If we're talking me min-maxing this run as much as possible, is one... Instead of taking Collection Desire here, I take Last Resistance and I die on purpose against one of the bosses, like Chimera or something. And also, um, making sure I sell this and getting that uh, that shyness at the end would have been insane. Just imagine how much stronger we would have been. But it is what it is. I'm not upset about anything. I think this run was really, really cool. Strike 2 is 20% amp and only needs one item. 4 needs 3 and it's luck. Yeah, exactly. It, it's You need a high crit rate with Strike 4. And, um, even this run would kind of struggle to proc strike four often. Like, it's just, it's weird, man. And also, I think we learned, like, we truly set aside once and for all that Veld Mask is just terrible and you almost never take it. Like, not that anyone needed to be reminded of that, but it, it is what it is. Veld Mask is just so bad. But, uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Good run. And I'm not going to ramble anymore. That's all I got. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.